Hello everyone, it's Ursula Gontier from the Cochrane Community Support Team. I'm just going to show you how you can share the link to view a review in Revman Web with anyone who has the correct group or document role to enable them to view the review. Now this can be a useful alternative to sharing a PDF copy of the review, for instance. I'm going to go through two scenarios. Firstly, sharing a link to the review with another member of your editorial team in your review group. And secondly, sharing a link to the review with a peer or consumer reviewer. Now I'm viewing the page in the Revman Web Knowledge Base here, where all the different roles and their read and write permissions are laid out. And I'll make sure that the link to this page is also included in the description below this video so that you can click and view this in more detail. So firstly, to share a link to the review with another member of your editorial team, so that could be your coordinating editor, information specialist and so on. It's very easy, you simply go to Archie, right click on the title of the relevant review, open the review in Revman Web and copy the link to the dashboard. Now this link, when copied and pasted into an email or a Slack message, will enable the user who clicks on it to land directly in the review here and they will be able to view, track changes, add notes, contribute or comment in any way you might wish. Now those are users who have write permissions on the review. But peer or consumer reviewers have access to a read-only version. So to send this link to a peer or consumer reviewer, again you would need your link to the dashboard and again your route is via Archie. So I'm just going to open the review properties for this review and confirm that the person with whom I wish to share the link has the correct document role and that the review is in the correct phase. So the review is in editorial here and I can see on the people tab that my test peer reviewer is lined up and has the correct document role. So I can now send a workflow task email to this peer reviewer and include a link to the Revman Web dashboard. So I've got my task lined up here. I'm going to send the task email. And I did previously edit the peer review request email for review updates to include a relevant line of text where I can insert the link to the dashboard. So I'm just going to send this email, although the training server doesn't actually send emails thankfully. Um, and then I'm going to look at what the dummy peer reviewer would see. So this is the email that would have been received um, from Archie. And you can see that rather than a PDF attachment, there is a link here to view the review in Revman Web. Now, if the peer reviewer followed this link, they would see the text in Revman Web in a slightly different way than you are used to seeing it. So all the text boxes are greyed out, the text is not editable, and peer reviewers are not able to make any changes. So you're giving them a link to a stable, non-editable version of the review, but you would ask them to comment, as they normally would, on a separate Word document peer review checklist or provide comments um, in, by email. Whatever works best for your group. So, as I mentioned, this can be a useful and convenient alternative to sharing a PDF file of a review and can also help to raise awareness and increase familiarity with Revman Web among editorial staff. If you have any questions about Revman Web, please get in touch with the community support team, support at Cochrane.org, or connect with us on Slack in the channel All Support Revman on Community Slack, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.